Well, this week's hometown heroes prove that anything is possible, regardless of your age. 712's Amy Hoffner has the story. Jake Neiman and Josiah Christopher appear as normal as any high school student, but from 4 to 6 p.m., they take on a different persona. Good afternoon, Cran FM. Jake and Josiah hit the radio airwaves three months ago. They scrounged up enough equipment from local communities and read a lot of books to make it happen. But what did it really take to put this station together? A lot of patience. Things do not go right the very first time, or the second time, or the third time. Electrocution is a way of learning that you don't touch something when you shouldn't. The young founders did all of the wiring themselves. They run the station in Jake's basement, where they are constantly upgrading. These guys understand not only how the things work, but they build some of their own equipment, which requires, uh, you know, a lot more knowledge than just, you know, pushing buttons. But it hasn't been clear sailing. At the ages of 15 and 16, many people doubted they would ever get the station off the ground. The younger part of the community is kind of overlooked, and with all the sports and everything that we have, and us being teens, um, we kind of shoot for it and tell people that, Hey, we're doing a good thing, and so are a lot of other teens. And what do they say to other teens who have a dream? You can do it. It's anything is possible <clears throat> if you, you want to do it. With hometown heroes in Montevideo, Amy Hoffner, 712 News. Yeah. All right, thank you, Amy. Well, for now, Jake and Josiah can only broadcast a quarter of a mile. They're hoping the FCC will allow them to broadcast throughout Montevideo so they can listen to their station at school.